When people hear the name, the National Cowgirl Museum, they usually think of women who do work horseback, but we're actually women who somehow shaped and are shaping the American West. I'm Dr. Diana Vell. I'm the Associate Executive Director at the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame. We first heard about the 12 Mighty Orphans exhibition when we got a call from Mitch Witten with Visit Fort Worth. And he asked us if we would be interested in partnering with them on an exhibition that happened to include one of our Hall of Fame honorees, Laura Wilson. Curating this exhibition was different largely because of the compressed timeline that we had of five weeks. The second element that made this a little bit different was it was an exercise in combining the work of an honoree with the film and also with props in a way that made sense to the visitor and made it engaging and interesting. My favorite photographs are those that Wilson took that also has the film crew. You can see the cameras or other crew there and it really lets you see what Laura saw when she was there and kind of allows you to feel like you were there too behind the scenes. I was able to see the movie early, which proved to be critical. That is because I received some props and one of the props I received was a tablet with some crayon drawings that at first I assumed was just kind of a throwaway prop. But then after I was able to see the movie, I realized that what we now know as Betty's play or Betty's offense was a pivotal moment for Luke's character, Rusty. Another example of that would be the whiskey bottles that we got. You might think that perhaps it was just on a shelf or on a table, but then when you see the film, you recognize that no, those, those whiskey bottles actually were pretty central to Doc Hall, played by Martin Sheen, his character. The excitement of having not only our Hall of Fame honoree, Laura Wilson here, but then her son was in the movie and she was shooting things behind the scenes and so many things got filmed here in Fort Worth. We just feel like this is a really special exhibition for us and also for all of Fort Worth.